All right, welcome back to Crypto's Rich Boy. Today we're going to be talking about Safe Moon. But before we do, guys, go ahead and like this video. Help me push it up the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. So, before we get into the Safe Moon um recap, let's go ahead and take a look at the price. I want to say that when they did the version 2, um let me just verify this before I give you um I guess the wrong information. I'm not sure if this is version 1 or if this is version 2, um, but I'm going to tell you here right now. So, um, it looks like, yeah, it looks like this is still version 1, so <clears throat> we're not even going to worry about this. Um, version 2 is, uh, let's see, so the price of version 2 is actually, if you guys want to look it up, it's just uh, poocoin.app. And then the ticker symbol is F or S F M. And then it should be this one right there. So, uh, so yeah, it looks like it's at 17, one, two, five, five with two zeros in front of it. That means it's almost two tenths of a penny. So that is pretty awesome that we can actually give more of a realistic number versus 0.00000176. So it's a little bit easier. So as you guys know, yesterday was a safe move Sunday. Uh, we're just going to recap a little bit. Version 2 has launched. Migration now available on Android and iOS. New key features include ability to import private key, connect multiple wallets, and web swap for consolidation. So there was um, a question, I guess, many people that had MetaMask Wallet back in the day, are they going to um, offer support for the 15 and 18 <clears throat> um, key, word key phrases? And the answer was, it's not, long story short, it's not worth the time. Like the benefit for their the, the community is not worth all the time that has to be put into it. But if um, more and more people want it or need it, <clears throat> then it would be more um, of a benefit. But, I mean, I guess at the end of the day, all you, I mean, really all you would have to do is if you have it in a wallet like that, is just to, um, you might have to just send your version 1 token to a new wallet and then take a, a little bit of a hit and be able to um, get version 2 th at that point. So they did say that um, they're going to, support version one just a little bit longer but at some point they're going to just focus on version two and so um, version two is going to allow it to be multi-chain um, it's going to allow it to become on more exchanges uh, it sounds like the um, version two is going to allow it to become integrated with web three um, so they said version two was the most crucial thing that they needed to do in order to get the um, exchange going, the blockchain going, to get all of these things going. So this is something, it is a huge step for the safe moon community, and I definitely think that we are going to be able to now see safe moon thrive. So upcoming wallet updates include Wallet Connect to enable apps and auto log off after 30 minutes. Now this is crucial because if you really think about it, the auto log off is... Um, if you go onto your trust wallet or MetaMask wallet and you log on and you open that portal, that portal, it gives one more portal for a hacker or somebody to come in on the back end and do, you know, um, there's a possibility it opens up a negative something that can happen negatively. So after 30 minutes auto log off, that just, you know, it's to protect the users, it's to protect the people. And it's really to protect everybody that is holding Safe Moon. So, um, you know, the next Safe Moon Sunday is not going to be till January 9th. They did say that they are going to have another little, I guess, meeting or recap <clears throat> for Operation Phoenix. Um, so they're saying Operation Phoenix. So they they just started talking about the windmills, and they started talking about how um, the windmills are kind of like to its max capacity and now they're looking at something with like nanotechnology to make the windmills uh even more uh efficient and to make it have more utility so that is something that is um very very necessary so um uh, so also 
So it says um, they're going to be back for a new Save Moon Sunday, January 9th, 2022, and January 23rd, 2022. I cannot wait until <clears throat> we get even more information. It is awesome. So, 22 hours ago, Operation Phoenix update. Safe Moon is the evolution of wind turbines. Nanotechnology used to increase efficiency. First implementation of this technology. One more drop before Christmas. So, like I said, they're going to kind of talk a little bit more about Operation Phoenix right before Christmas. So, Area 32 is kind of like, um, I guess they given that as a designated, designated area for Operation Phoenix and everything that's happening with Operation Phoenix. So, that is really really awesome so if you guys haven't already done so version 2 came out yesterday i'm pretty sure you guys heard about it um but you guys um need the easiest way is to download the safe moon wallet and then it's just like literally like a one or two step process you really click and you're done like you click you wait and you're done now they did say people are clicking and then getting impatient and getting out do not do that you, when you click, sometimes the BSC network takes a little bit longer, so you're going to need to just give it a little bit more time and have a little bit of patience. So, um, uh, let's see. So, 22 hours ago, it says, community question, how to reclaim lost tokens after V2 migration? So, there's going to be a form that they're going to put out that you can reclaim the 10%. So, anything not released on SafeMoon's official channels is a scam. So, be careful, guys. Anybody that um comes to you and says hey i'm part of the save moon support team send me your uh your key phrase your seed phrase and um we're gonna help you out we're gonna hook you up with 30 extra percent or we're we're gonna <clears throat> go in and do it for you do not do not do not ever 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 give your seed phrase to anybody metamask wallet trust wallet safe moon wallet as long as you verify the source and you got the right one, and you're 100%, 110%, 120% that you got the right one, because there are copycats up there, um, that you got the right one, and also with the contract address, as long as you know you have the right one, because there's copycats of that too, then you should be okay, but make sure you got the right one. So, um, 22 hours ago, it also said, um web swap now propagated and fully functional live on android and ios win v3 so that was it was actually kind of funny because in the um in the ama somebody made a joke like win v3 so um it was just kind of kind of funny so um let's see migration to version 2 now available uh, for non-wallet users, use the web swap to consolidate. So yeah, if you, you guys don't have the uh, wallet, you guys got to use the web swap to do it. And then they also said, they also talked about Bitmart and how they stressed the fact that it wasn't on them. It was someone hacked into the Bitmart and they, they you know, it was something that Bitmart had to update their security, which they have. <clears throat> um and so it looks like everything should be on the up and up with that situation as well. So that's funny. Own up. Who did this? So they put, I guess, uh, I think so they put the his face in there. And he's kind of like the Santa. So that's super, that's kind of funny. So Santa John, that's awesome. So, um, so yeah, guys. So, you know, that's pretty much the updates I have for you guys. Make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel so I can continue to bring you guys updates. And, um, you know, and shout out to everyone that is covering Safe Moon. It is definitely something that I think uh, once you are kind of um, tied to a project, especially one like this where <clears throat> there's, let me see, how many holders do we have right now? Let's get an update. So, 2,945,019 addresses. So once you get to, uh, with the project that is this to scale, um, it is definitely something that it will bring a lot of people. And so shout out to those who continue to update. I know that was said on the AMA as well. <clears throat> Somebody came on and was like, hey, shout out to everyone keeping the name of Safe Moon out there. Oh, also, somebody asked... Um, like, hey, are we going to be on the Super Bowl? And so the, the the response to this was pretty intriguing and pretty um 
I thought this was brilliant. They said, well, you got to look at the amount of money it costs to do the, um, to do the, um, advertising and you got to see if there's another way to do similar advertising that might be a little cheaper. So he, um, he said, well, we probably may or may not do Super Bowl. We're leaning more towards, um, from what I understood, they're leaning more towards <clears throat> not doing the Super Bowl because it might be too expensive and the people they can get to, but they may do YouTube ads during the Super Bowl um that people that normally look up crypto it'll be catered to them and so you know they can view that and so that's cool i know a lot of people watch super bowl just for the for the ads or for the commercials so that would be kind of um you know a, a really cool thing either way but um like i said long story short guys uh i try to keep you guys updated with this project and many others please subscribe to the channel like the video to push up the youtube algorithm and until next time.